Can't just apply all this force for free. Newton's third law states that every action has an equal... Well, and opposite th react. Come on! All right? Bruh, listen. My ninth grade science teacher, I was smarter than her. I remember she, she marked the question wrong on the test. I said, ma'am, first of all, you're wrong. She said, no, I'm not. Pull the textbook out right now. All right? You're trying to give me a 98. Better give me my 100 on this test. What you talking about, woman? That boy Seth done dropped another banger on our head top. Hard spaceship breaker review. We own you. Okay. Sounds like something I was said back in the day. But we're not going to get into all that. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. I'm happy to report that your application to Lynx Corporation has been accepted. Now, if you'll just sign here, 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 and here. Don't read it too closely. It's just a standard lawyer speak. <laughs> you know how these types are. <laughs> but we, we're not like that. Gotta learn we're to cook. Hey, man, it's easy. We know the true meaning of tenacity, of perseverance, of teamwork. The job is hard. The pay isn't great. But we'll do it anyway. Now, six million dollars? Talking we about wake the pay, up not to do great. the dirty work. The kind of jobs... <laughs> they don't want to talk about. You'll find a whole new breed of workers up here in orbit. We're honored to have you join the team. Welcome to Hard Space Shipbreaker. Shipbreaker. Welcome to Lynx, to your new life. Literally. Yeah, read the fine print next time, Buster. We own you. Now, uh, that'll be $1.2 billion plus tip, of course. Mm. So, what are you waiting for? Did I say 35% gratuity? Somebody charged me 35% gratuity. I'm ditching on the bill. You're going to have to catch me. Soon as I open up that bill. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 35% gratuity. I'm going to close it. I'm going to be like, let me look for my... Ah, where is it? Actually, can you refill my water real quick? They take my water. I'm out the door. Get in that They're salvage done. bay and seize the opportunity of a lifetime. Hey, how's our new debt slave doing? I'm just messing with you. Look, we run a tight ship here, so I'll make this as quick as I can. Microgravity may seem complicated, but really, it's easy as one, two, three. Just hope that's not lose your grip, drift away from the station, and become one with a lifeless cosmos. Don't worry, you can always top up on fuel for a paltry fee of $10,000. Your thruster pack is capable of maneuvering along the six degrees of freedom. There's no hey, air resistance Devin, where you get here, lunch so you'll get real familiar with Newton's first law. Law. An object at rest will huh. An object at rest will remain at rest until a force is upon it. An object in motion will remain in motion until it come on now. We come on now. Stay at rest. And an object in motion will stay in motion until acted upon. To move come other on. objects, use your grappling tool to apply it's force really in and science, cause man. acceleration. If that just activated a neuron, good. For reference, one newton is the amount of force required to accelerate one kilogram by one meter per second. Home, your mom no hey, there's nothing wrong with that. Or friction, even a small amount of force can add up over time, allowing you to move pretty much anything with just a little elbow grease. Mm. Just remember, that object now requires an equal amount of force to, to come decelerate. Back. If you're exactly. unsure what 20,000 <laughs> newtons would feel like, worry not, we have the data. <laughs> Sadly, we can't just apply all this force for free. Newton's third law states that every action has an equal... Well, the opposite react. Come on! All right? Bruh, listen. My ninth grade science teacher, I was smarter than her. I remember she, she marked the question wrong on the test. I said, ma'am, first of all, you're wrong. She said, no, I'm not. Pull the textbook out right now. All right? You're trying to give me a 98. Better give me my 100 on this test. What you talking about, woman? More. Opposite reaction. <laughs> to work in space, you need to understand this implicitly. So, hopefully, I'm getting it through your head now, rather than later. Your HUD shows what your thrusters can properly counter-thrust against. Remember, red means bad. <laughs> Luckily, you've got just the tool to make that pesky law work for you. Tevers. Just connect one end, then the other, and watch as the Chinese tever creates an unbalanced force, name. bringing mm -hmm. both objects together. It's not fast but it's automatic, freeing you up for more important matters. Like cutting, your laser cutter has two modes. Cut mode can make one giant lateral cut through just about anything. Precision okay. mode can destroy any one single component. All ships are held together with yellow structural beams. These have no salvage value, so just cut them to your heart's content. <laughs> okay. Maybe maybe watch where you cut. If you hit a fuel line, you've got a good while to find the shutoff valve. If you hit a nuclear fuel line, you you've got about mm, 10 seconds. <laughs> you. I love away. science, but chemistry in college is beams, different beasts. Boy, physics should be banned from any 
uh, educational institution, all right? Get physics out of here. I'm glad, because if y'all put that in math, y'all think I'm good at science, all right? You know, in Newton's laws and things. Boy, I'm not saying I'm a human calculator, okay? But if Susie had two apples, and Susie multiplied her apples by three every day exponentially, at the end of 96 days, I'm going to need a calculator. <laughs> you see this green light? That's the pressure indicator. Hey, wait, stop. Don't cut. <clears throat> Welcome back. Nothing like a spare or two to let the lesson sink in. As I was saying, in order to safely transport fragile human bodies through the cold void of space, ship interiors need to be pressurized, preferably to about one atmosphere. If a pressure is too low, certain liquids, like say water, risk going below their triple point. Try not to imagine the excruciating pain of every single molecule <laughs> of water in your body coming to a boil near instantaneously. But if you happen to experience it firsthand, just remember, therapy costs extra. <laughs> Honestly, a good day's work should be all the therapy you need. Now, back to... Oh, what was that? You want to know what happens when the pressure's too high? No. No, you don't. Your scanner will Hold show... On, what is that? Pressure's too high? No. The the Bifert Dolphin Incident? 1976. Chat, we gotta look that up. We gotta look that up. No, you don't. Your scanner will show whether any given compartment is pressurized or unpressurized. You can look for airlocks and atmospheric regulators to safely toggle the compression. But word of advice, you're on the clock. Remember the wise words of Benjamin Franklin, haste avoids waste. That's the spirit. Now we'll cover sorting. Raw materials go into the furnace. Complicated structural components go into the processor, and anything with resale value goes into the barge. We don't expect, okay. nor are we paying you to remember that. So it's integrated into your HUD. <laughs> Payments are due Tuesday, by the way. Correctly sorting items will it add just to your was salvage goals. Incorrectly sorting or outright destroying items will take away from your salvage I'll look goals. I'll it up. And hey, David, let us know what that will was. Be docked from your next pay stub. <laughs> But let's make sure it doesn't get that far, huh? The best way to fix a mistake is to avoid making it in the first place. Humanity had to learn that lesson the hard way. If you see any AI nodes out there, don't touch them. Once don't they started adding them, numbers and signs, my brain them. shut off. Trust True. me, it's not worth a risk. Nothing is worth a risk. Got all that? Great. Hey, look, I like I like the uh, what am I? variables. I like variables. Solve for X. Boy, I was nice. Uh, uh, what was it? What is the what is the what is the equation for a slope? Is um, mx plus b right? Y equals mx plus b. Come on, chat. Hey man, hey, I really liked that in school. Okay, I was like that. I'm sure you've got it. It was an explosion of decompression that killed four divers and a few more accidents word from here now i've got very important work to do if you need help use your radio but don't use it too much as i always say avoiding chatter makes profits fatter hey cutter sorry about that guy we're under audit by corporate on account of that whole union thing you wouldn't happen to know about that would you <laughs> i'm just messing with you now i noticed he skipped over a big chunk of your training your scanner actually has two more modes, systems and objects, neither of which react well to being cut apart. So it's always a good idea to scan ahead. Remember, measure twice, cut once. True. Most ships these days are nuclear powered. Once you remove a reactor, it'll trigger a meltdown timer. So make sure you've prepared an exit strategy or else... Bubka-bluey, you're done. Now, that's just the small reactors. The level two reactors are a bit more complicated. Hold up now. Training time has not been authorized. Who cares <laughs> about level two reactors? Once you've seen one reactor, you've seen them all. That's what I always say. Listen, I know nobody likes a middle true. manager coming in, making life difficult, but just hear me out. I hit my goals and I'm out of your hair, but we all gotta pull the rope in the same direction. Get it? Cooperation. Co-op eration. When you first start this game, I mean job, it seems pretty chill. Just you, the ship, and all the time in a world. Except A squared plus B squared equals C squared Pythagorean theorem. What is the length of that side, ladies and gentlemen? Come on. 
Not really. <laughs> Each shift is exactly 15 minutes down to the second. We will not pay overtime, and we're tired of hearing about it. You can always start a new shift from where- Now, what's the other one? What's the, what's the other? Not Pythagorean theorem. What is that other, that long, the quadratic equation? Hey, man, chat, listen. <laughs> that one, when I first seen it, I almost domed myself, boy. I was out of there. Too many letters, boy. <laughs> where you left off. I mean, it's not like it's going anywhere. This system may seem strange Good, at first. Good, 2.5 GPA have a time graduation. When you have all hey, the time in the world. C because hey, look, Devin, C's get degrees, okay? They do. Time is money. Each shift has fixed operating costs, and not all salvage is created equal. 3,000 for a light? Fuck that. The three seconds it takes to salvage one are far more valuable. Just chuck the whole piece into the processor and move on. Do you really need to painstakingly separate every single piece of furniture from the cockpit just to save some scrap metal? No, just barge the whole thing. We aren't janitors, we're liquidators. We extract liquid capital from illiquid assets and die of acute radiation syndrome. On that note, nuclear reactors don't explode. An atom bomb works by taking a subcritical mass of a fissile material and using an extremely precise array of explosives to compress it into a supercritical mass. Reactors don't do this. They use a fissile material to heat water into steam, which powers a normal ass steam turbine. A reactor will never go supercritical. If a runaway reaction occurs, the nuclear fuel will get hot enough to boil the metal casing of a reactor and what has a lower boiling point than most metals that's right water if you Three want to learn more about school, criticality here's a simple hey look i'm gonna tell you all this if you're going to grad school get good grades in your undergrad if you don't plan to go to grad school still get good grades but focus on learning how to teach yourself and build your network of students that's the best thing. Kyle, that's the one thing. Listen, I'm here. Come on. Holly, Holly is here to give y'all the key to life, okay? The key to life is they tell you do good in school so you can get to college. True, you should. Once you get to college, it's not that you don't do good in school. Retain the information. But you're not there to get A's, okay? You were there to learn how to function in the society while still learning. That's what, you're there. That's what college is for. Can we still teach you stuff while you're functioning in society with growing responsibilities? That's the focus, not the A's and B's, okay? Now, if you go into grad school, you're trying to get into a school that you need a three-something GPA, you're going to have to learn in that society while getting a 3.5, though. Experiment you can do at home. You just need two beryllium hemispheres, a subcritical mass of plutonium, and a screwdriver. Place your plutonium core in between the hemispheres and prop up the top one with your screwdriver. The mm. neutrons emitted by the fissile plutonium will bounce off a beryllium shell. So, as you lower the top half down, these neutrons will be forced back into the core, thus raising the criticality. Full coverage will lead to super criticality. So, Tennessee make sure Thomas you don't... Program. I don't use degree for anything. That See, that's why people say you don't use your degree for anything. College will teach you a lot of things about life that you don't know you know until later, right? It's not necessarily, the degree is good. It's cool for certain jobs. You might not use your degree. But the things you learn when you're in college, it helps you learn the world easier, right? That's why you show, listen, them, them electives, take them business classes. Because you will be dealing with money for the rest of your life. Okay? Psychology, pay attention. I know it's a prerequisite. A 1,000 level class. Elective, take it. Pay attention. Okay? Because you'll learn how people think. Religion, take it. You'll learn other people's practices. Come on. Did not. Xavier was good. Produce light. What you just saw is called Cherenkov radiation, which occurs when charged particles move faster than the speed of light through a given medium. Mm. Space is generally characterized by a lack of medium, so reactor explosions should not emit Cherenkov light. But I digress. While you trained in the art of hazmat safety, I mastered the ways of Hakuchido. While you <laughs> need a forklift certification to destroy a warehouse full of product, I am untethered by such 
such restrictions, but is the extra money really worth a risk? Uh, no. To be honest, I've already paid off my debt. I am a multi-millionaire. I am <laughs> no longer in it for the money. I'm in it for the pride, the thrill, the obsession of constant improvement. I end each shift satisfied yet disappointed. <laughs> the wealth of experience and knowledge I've just obtained has made me better than the man who started the shift. Hey, I'm trying that to give away the keys to life, fool, man. A buffoon, a moron. I could do better. I could... No, I will. I will do it faster. Each and every day, I'll strive to master the art of ship breaking until I've reached the peak of salvage excellency, dismantling okay. an entire ship in a single shift. The poor man's job simulator is a simulator of a mundane, of a life where <laughs> mediocrity is rewarded and excellence is punished. It takes a masterwork to reignite that spark in a man's heart, the spark of ambition to confidently end each day a better man than you were before. Four. And that is why Hard Space Shipbreaker they is They took you to Universal Studios. <laughs> oh, man. I what hate. college did you go to? Yo, the only the only field trips we took in my college. Oh, okay, that's a lie. We had to go to the uh, North Georgia Humane Society because we had to redo their, their promotional program. We rebuilt their website. You know what I'm saying? We got them events for them to raise sponsorship money for their nonprofit. Come on, we was out here working. Hate this job. Do you want to unionize? I want to unionize. Okay, cool. Computer science is getting the best of me. I see. I don't do that technical stuff, okay? I, I do world world application, and that's it. <laughs> well, I added you to the union newsletter. So now, you need to know how to make more money? Come talk to me. I got you. I got the this thinker right here. That's all. I'm not dealing with... I'm not doing none of that. Corporate union busters are going to target you. Okay, cool. Bye. What the fuck just happened? I forgot my pills, didn't I? When I play one of these uh, work for an exploitative corporation that doesn't care about your health and safety kind of games, uh, many such cases, I do not want to uh, quote unquote Milo fight the power. College. I want to exist within the system, grasping yeah, for any semblance of human connection oh, in fire. a society that dehumanizes us down to mere cells in a spreadsheet. Oh, what this face? is the same company that would sooner clone its workers before bowing to a modicum of safety regulations. Mm. If your solution to the teletransportation paradox is who cares lol, uh, as long as they make their debt payments, you haven't made a fixable society. You've made Cruelty Squad, except I can actually see. However, they wanted a story with a climax, so fuck it. We're gonna unionize. The final <laughs> mission of the game is a fun twist on normal gameplay. Instead of breaking apart the ship and carefully sorting the remains, you have to intentionally fail all of your salvage goals. But you can't just chuck the whole thing why? into the furnace. That would create value for the company. You've got to go absolutely hog wild, using everything you've learned to do the worst job job you possibly can but you wouldn't hurt an German innocent mega bomber? corporation Jeez. like links right after all we're a team here like hell we are where where did i put those where did i put those pills listen we just want to talk with your bosses we get our meeting <laughs> and this will all be over you know i can't why protect them do you think link sees you any differently from the rest of us you know the difference between you people and me i know links what you mean by you, you like people? slaves hell that's why they're the biggest in what the solar system that? i made it to the winning team people like you trying to lift each other up you're just letting others keep you down with them for what we own you i got the right to do whatever i want to you you are nothing until links found you okay listen i need y'all to rewind that back and play that with your eyes closed and you tell me what you thought of all right oh now i here in atlanta we have the human rights museum the museum of human rights if you've never been you should go all right boy this sounds dangerously similar to some of the things i've seen in there but you gotta go for yourself Obedience is success. You've chosen to cross the company that gave you a chance. We'll drive you into the ground with debt. We'll give you work so dangerous you'll revive 20 times a day Amen. until your DNA comes apart at the <laughs> seams. And when you come back as a useless, gibbering blob, we'll make your family pick up the bill. Yeah, I think it's time for a pill. <laughs> 
Ah, that's better. Now, we can discuss one of the most bizarre endings I've ever seen in a video game. Mm. So, we've established that this system is basically unfixable, right? So, how do they fix it? Well, the middle managers get demoted, Lynx deletes the fucking slavery clause from their contracts, <laughs> Space Congress outlaws cloning machines, but the Shipbreakers Union specifically lobbies to keep their cloning machines. And everyone mm. responsible gets off scot-free and continue to profit from the situation. The society... How is that you? I already seen you about to type it. Don't even do it has not changed. The working conditions are exactly the same, and literally nothing has been done to keep humanity out of the ever-grinding cogs of industry. But yay, good job, you did it. Or I mean, you didn't do it, you're fucking dead. Your clone did it. <laughs> Moral of the story, I guess, workers are expendable, the human soul is replaceable, and it's morally correct to enslave people, just don't actually use the S word. In summary, Hard Space <laughs> Shipbreaker is a cosmic scrapyard that sim that I right played there, instead of doing actual work. But I find great comfort in this because there's something very soothing in the act of orchestrating and game rehearsing game. mundane activities. In a single playthrough, I have justified and vindicated the entire nation of Germany and their infatuation for workplace simulators. I believe there's a quantum reality out there where this game was entirely a sandbox. However, the trade-off is that in that reality, Factorio is a heavily scripted, story-driven FPS. <laughs> Considering my blessings, I prefer to stay in this universe where I can safely say I give this game a Y out of 10 because 99% <laughs> of the gameplay loop is incredibly enjoyable. Highly recommended will make your little nuts quake in their sack, but the rest? For what purpose doth it exist? If I could go back in time and change one thing, I would shoot John Lennon myself. But if someone else went back in what? time, please consider telling the developers that there's no point to a story in a game like this. For the price they're currently asking, $34 I would recommend waiting for, for a sale. Alternatively, you can get 40% off from Polish merchants or 100% off. I know what website he's talking about, boy. 40% off? Come on now. Off by catfishing someone online. Hey, and blackmailing them into buying it for you. And now for a word from our sponsor. You may have noticed this video required some research. Research that would be fine in the simpler times of yore, but yeah, but if you search that now, the FBI at your door. But these are not simple times. These days, you can't even type me, ASF, at the House Energy and Commerce Committee on March 23rd, 2020. Hold up. Free on your favorite Robert Pattinson video. So, Imagine Hold up. What, what, what happened on March 23rd, 2023? Somebody let me know. And how they'd react to my recent search history of how to make an atom bomb and piss frost vector math. I'd be locked up for sure. <laughs> Thankfully, I used ExpressVPNs. Yo, y'all let me know down in the comments what is the most... Um, What have you searched on the internet? That would have had the FBI at your door. Go ahead, type it in the comments. Secure <laughs> private connection. So these pesky federal agents are now stuck battling through the streets of Miami, looking for the guy who used chat GPT to calculate how much piss it would take to bring the International Space Station out of orbit. Yes, this is the true future of research. Search engines will no longer link you. I think they'd be using these video games to solve problems. Like, you, listen... If you wanna, if you want somebody to do real work, you have to convince them that they're not actually working. So all, all these people playing Factorio, you know what I'm saying? World, what was it called? Hardship Shipbreaker. There's a lot of math that goes into the mechanics of these games that are realistic to real life. All right, and I think they be using those numbers. A lot of people are doing the work for them. You know what I'm saying? But then. You know, on the back end, they sell the data from all the stuff that was tried in the game to try in real life. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Look, if the if the NSA, the FBI, the CIA, the, the, the Nassau Bureau of Investigators, if I disappear. <laughs> hey, look, y'all. if y'all give me enough money, I'll never talk again. OK, <laughs> it's going to cost you, though. Big Boss, how you doing? I'm not a milk dud. I got hair like um, Wiz Khalifa, okay? That's what people tell me. They're like, yo, your, your, your dress is just like Wiz Khalifa's, man. And I've been running with that ever since. But, hey, government, y'all pay me enough bread. I won't say nothing. <laughs> All right? I won't say anything. Hey, YouTube, y'all bump them CPMs up. <laughs> Come on. Yeah.